What a year 2020 was. And here we are, 2021. Hopefully something better, right? So I had a graduate tea this year, this spring, so it was more consumed with that than with gardening per se. I mean, as you can tell, I still have quite a lot, but everything was very, very late and I don't have all that I want, believe it or not. So potatoes, once again, I got three rows in right away and then two that were really delayed and late. I have pinto beans back there, new area, and corn over there, new area. Still doing a tomato up against the greenhouse. These boxes here are still the same. Peppers and onions, this time I did onions all on one side and peppers all on the other side. The peppers, I did try to start from seeds again this year, but believe it or not, shortage in uh, seed starting mix was a shortage. So I grabbed what was there because I was already behind and it was organic, too heavy to start seeds in. So I had to go and purchase, which is fine, but that means that I don't have all the hot peppers that I would like. First for this year is garlic. They got a rough start, again, just because of what I had going on at the beginning of the year cauliflower and cabbage. Already have some cabbage heads coming in. The parsley actually survived the Arctic freeze, believe it or not. I was absolutely dumbfounded that that they did, but they did. But that also means that it already went to seed very fast. So I'm not sure if I'll get a fall parsley or not. I purchased four groups of the lemon basil this year so I could do a lot more uh, drying of it. I use a lot of it. Then I picked up seeds for lime basil, which didn't come in very well. I think that's finally coming in, and this should be regular basil. So I'll have that. Zucchini, doing very well. Attempting to stake so it will go up, which I only have a small stake, but it seems to be doing pretty well going up rather than down. I really liked how the pumpkin did on the lattice, so I'm doing that again this year. I have two plants, because I had two plants last year, and so far they are doing very, very well. They're climbing up and over. I tried to make it singular stock, and then once it got at least to the top part, I let to go. Oh, check it out, check it out. This is a new bug. I've never seen this kind of bug over here. Hopefully it's there when I'm done, so I can take pictures of it. Anyway, as you can see, I already have one pumpkin coming in. So, doing very well. Very well indeed. Over here on this one, uh, cucumbers. This time I did the lattice different, going straight up on both sides. And I have broccoli here in the middle. And one of these, or yep, there you go. Broccoli already coming in. Now I know these are a cool crop, so I'm not sure how well they will be. I, I kind of messed up on that again. Everything was late. These should have already been in the ground and probably already had heads, but again, I was delayed in that. Watermelon and cantaloupe. Cantaloupe here. I have the big like store watermelon coming along here and it will go down. Then I have a smaller watermelon. The smaller ones that I grew last year, I'm hoping will grow up and go on the lattice. New one also this year is millet for the chickens. Sunflowers, smaller ones, the, the chickens seem to like the smaller sunflower seeds. So I have those. And again, new this year, which I was late also putting in, but I'm trying to see if I can still have a cool crop. This section does get shaded in the afternoon because of the building. But I have collard greens for the chickens. Lettuce, two different styles of lettuce. Beets a vining spinach, a Chinese spinach, and then a spicy lettuce that nobody likes. It is very spicy. It has a better taste to it. So 
uh, and of course cilantro again because I was late on everything also the chickens were out and they dug up all my seeds so uh, the seeds that sprouted on their own they by the time they sprouted it was too hot so they bolted automatically I did lay some down and I do have some slow bolt uh, cilantro also this shade gets shaded fairly quickly but uh, we'll see if I get any cilantro it may all go to seed but I definitely won't have nearly as much seed as I did last year that is going to be a bummer I trying my outdoor compost the chickens I did let them get out and they actually did rummage around in it so that shows that there was uh, some good bugs in there I had some good layering of course it doesn't look like that now compost barrel need to put drill holes in it need to get a handle although I could just turn it but a handle would be nice um, I need to discuss that anyway I might have a turning compost bin so we'll see about that chickens are doing very well put up some shade for them so they'd have it other than that there's the garden a little late but it's going pretty good <laughs>